Hey guys, welcome to today's edition of Power Building 101 with yours truly, Coach Chad, straight out of TriFit Barbell in Malden, South Carolina. Today is going to be a great episode, guys, because what we're going to do is we're going to talk about your setup when it comes to the bench press. Now, there are a lot of steps when it comes to the setup. I'm not going to lie. This takes time and it takes practice, okay? But what do we know about practice? The better you practice or perfect practice makes perfect, okay? So what I want to do is I want to talk about hand position. I want to talk about uh, leg position. I want to talk about trying to develop a good arch. Now, I personally don't have a great arch. I'm still trying to work. I'm still trying to get better. For the longest time, I was a flat bench presser, and this stressed the hell out of my shoulders. It also never gave me much um, as far as getting uh, stronger. So what I want to do is when I lay down for the bench press, I want to think about every single step because every step leads up to a good bench. So the better you get at your setup, the better you will get at bench press. And I cannot stress this enough, guys. Patience is everything. So if you take your time in your setup, you uh, consciously think about all the different pieces to getting a good bench press, you will get better. It's a conscious effort that drives good strength, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay back and I'm gonna start with hand position. So hand position, now, width is something I will cover in another video on what width to go with, but for today, go with whatever you've been using because at the end of the day, you're still working roughly the same muscles. So let's say I put my pinkies on the ring. Awesome, I'm going to use, once I've established that hand position and check out my previous episode if you haven't, if you don't know how to position your hands, but I'm going to push my hands into the bar. So I wedge them and use the bar as a leverage point to help pin my shoulders to the bench. So I'm literally pushing off of the bar to get my shoulder blades down and back, okay? So once I've used the bar to establish good upper back position, then I can start to creep my feet back. And basically what I'm trying to do is shorten the distance between my hips and my upper back. Because if my hips and my upper back come closer together, naturally I'm going to develop a better arch. So like I said, guys, my arch isn't great. I am still working on it. It's a mobility issue. It's a stability issue. I'm working on it every day. Um, check out my girlfriend, Gabriella. She has an amazing arch. It is very, very technically sound. It's a, she's a very good bench presser um, as far as technique goes. So set your hands, walk your feet back, try to get your hips as close to your upper back as you can. Establish good foot position. Now for me, I tend to keep my heels on the ground. That helps me drive with my legs. So you see that little bit of uh, leg extension? That helps me drive with my heels when they're on the ground. Now some people will even creep up on the toes and that is perfectly fine as well because I've seen bench pressers be very efficient at both. So there is a bit of trial and error when it comes to everything, guys. So don't try to just take whatever you see some guy, uh, Larry Wheels or whatever bench pressing, and just assume that that's gonna work best for you. We are going to find what works best for you. So, hand position, shoulders pinched. I'm developing what I think is a good arch for me. I'm going to drive my feet into the floor. I'm gonna flex every muscle in my body. I'm gonna unrack the weight, and I'm gonna start with my hands directly over my shoulders. Okay, so you can't see at this angle, but my hands are directly over the top of my shoulders. I'm gonna externally rotate my elbows, right, so that the bar path is nice and low. When it comes down, it should be well below the chest. From there, I'm going to start my drive with my legs, and it's going to snap through all the muscles of my body. So I start with leg drive, it translates through my body, establishing good core strength, back strength, and then through my chest through a good elbow extension. Do not, by any means, unlock the shoulder blades, okay? Protracting the shoulder blades and then retracting the shoulder blades is going to eventually lead to injury, guys. The idea is when I set up, I'm establishing good upper back position. I'm literally pulling my shoulders or pushing off the bar to get my shoulder blades down and back, okay? The harder I pinch my shoulder blades, the more stable they're going to be in the bench, all right? Um, guys, if you have any questions, I know it's a lot of cues, and I'm trying to run through this quick enough to keep everyone's attention because everyone has ADD nowadays. But if you do have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I love my job. I love what I do, and I love helping people out. So I will talk to all of you soon.